Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Stuff with me, XPUX. Uh, you'll notice I don't have SimCity loaded up, um, which might seem weird to like 99% of my subscribers, considering that's what you came here to watch. Um, I'm, I'm putting SimCity on the back burner. Uh, I haven't really had a lot of motivation to record it, so this one's going to be a bit different, uh, without too much, um, <laughs> without too much complaining about. Uh, not wanting to record SimCity. I'm, I'm going to be recording a new Let's Play series. This will be the first in a couple of uh, games I'd like to play. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I would like to get this up and then see if you guys like it. If you're just like, no, fuck it, just go back record SimCity. That's stupid. Um, so I'll get, I'll get a sense of the response and I'll go from there. Uh, you'll notice I kind of have a weird, quirky backdrop. That's what I had to do to to record Ultima Online. So long, stupid story. Um, so we're going to be playing UO today. Uh, if you don't know UO, it's a game developed by Origin. Um, one of the, sort of the, the first real graphical based, um, fully developed, massive multiplayer online role playing games. It gets its genus from a lot of different games, and I, I'll talk about that uh, as, as we play through. Um, so there's a couple of really quick sort of like paperwork things that, uh, I need to deal with number one. This game's old. Uh, I was playing this game when I was in junior high school, maybe grade seven, eight, maybe grade eight, maybe, maybe grade nine, maybe. Anyway, that was like I think this game came out in like ninety six, ninety seven. Is when I was playing it. Um, so it's gonna look really poor. Um, this is not the live client of the game. I don't even know if the live client is around anymore. This is the, uh, this is an emulated, uh, server, which, which really, to play UO and to enjoy it, I think you should probably, I'll probably recommend you play on a third-party server. Um, so I'm gonna start a new character. Uh, I'm gonna play this character exclusively through the playthrough, so you'll get to sort of follow along, and, um, if you're interested in playing the game, I'll give some instructions onto how you can get UO since it's free uh, in the comment or in the comment section of this first video um, and uh, we'll go from there you'll notice immediately that I have this guy kicking in the bottom here um, this is a it's called a UO assistant program and I'll be going through why I have this um, throughout the playthrough you'll get a sense for why it's there this this uh, sort of assistant program does a lot of things that in contemporary MMOs um, GUI modifications would do and the game itself would have based on sort of the the development of, of games so um, you'll, you'll get a sense for what I mean when we uh, when we start rocking it so um, I guess we'll just uh, get to it we'll get on with it um, so I'm gonna be starting a new character I'm gonna call him Mayor Sim uh, because it's my homage to SimCity. Uh, really quick skin tone. We're gonna be a pale white guy, just like me. Uh, shirt hair color is gonna be dark black, just like me. Facial color is gonna be black, just like me. We're gonna be a male. These um, the races and stuff. I don't think they work in this version. I think you can be an elf, but they, they gives you like a bunch of info. None of that is is. is um, is actually relevant. Uh, this game, the, the the real elements of this game, these are sort of like expansion packs, which are not, um, which are not functional. Um, the real elements of this game are sort of in its in its basic premise, which I'll uh, which I'll explain. And you can go ahead and do what you want to make your character look goofy. Uh, maybe we'll choose some hot pink stuff. What do you guys think about that right there? Bubblegum pink. Mm hmm. Uh, that's not going to matter pretty soon. So it gives you um, choice of trades, and uh, you'll notice if I go to try, if we try to be a samurai, it'll be like so. Um, like almost all of these are non-existent in the in the real setting. So we're gonna base, basically customize our character, and uh, this is immediately kicking you off into the UO system, which is going to be a little bit different than what normal MMO players are used to. There's three stats and that's it. Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence. And these statistics are rarely if never increased by equipment. Um, there is a maximum allotable statistic uh, like cap stats is 225 so you can have each stat can have 100 in it 
and then there's a collective cap of 225. Um, generally speaking, I always go 60, 10, 10 to start. Um, for the purpose of this playthrough, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Uh, mm, yeah, I guess I'll just go 60, 10, 10. Um, there, there would be some merit to going uh, 25 dexterity. Oh, I messed that up pretty bad. Okay. There could be some merit to, to going uh, 25 into dexterity. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll go 20 dex and see how that works out. The reason I'm, I'm functioning is dexterity controls um, a, a few things, but not really many that are relevant. The main one is that it controls your attack speed. The higher dexterity you have, the faster you attack. And um, this game doesn't have... What do you call it? This, this game doesn't have traditional attack abilities. So, you know, warriors in World of Warcraft might have Mortal Strike. In Diablo, you might have Cleave or, uh, like, Double Strike. In this game, you just sort of have your regular auto swing. It's a little bit like Dungeons and Dragons in that way. So, we get to choose from a big list of skills, and these help us. Um, there's you'll you'll notice right away uh, that that there are no classes in Ultima Online. There are no classes in the strictest sense. They're only skills. And the skills, uh, I'll get into how they work. They're measured as a function of percent. Um, so when you are 10% skilled in something, you know, 9 out of 10 times you're going to fail at that thing. Generally speaking, that's how, uh, that's how it works, with some exceptions. Uh, I think for simplicity's sake, we're going to be mace fighting. Uh, one of the reasons why... I'm choosing mace fighting over uh, swordsmanship, uh, fencing that uses daggers, it, and and even archery is that mace fighting doesn't require very much dexterity, um, and this character is going to be uh, going to be casting spells. We're going to be using different spells than traditionally, not different, just um, no, I'll get into magic later. Anyway, so we'll choose mace fighting. I think, I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do if I want to pick up 50 majory or if I want to pick 50 healing, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, 50 majory and we're going to use the heal spell, um, which you'll get to see how that functions, um, I instead of bandages. I'm going to see how that works. If that ends up being like a gigantic mistake, um, I'll fix it. Um, but I think if I'm going to do that, what we're going to go is we're going to go, uh, 20, okay, hold on, grumble, 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 we'll go 20 int, 50 strength, 10 dexterity, major mace fighting, and then the third skill is generally a dump skill, but you can miser some value out of it. So if you take alchemy, you'll get, um, and this This might be overdoing it a bit, the reason I take alchemy is it gives you, in, in this game spells require reagents, and reagents are materials. Um, so there's like, blood moss is the one I can remember, but there's black pearl, there's a bunch of different, I'll show you when we get into the game. If you take alchemy, you, you should get extra reagents. Uh, so we'll hit next, it'll create the character, and, uh, we're off. We're in the game. Um, wow, it gave us two robes. Right, well. So, um, right away we start off with some things up in the screen. I'm going to open it up. There we go. Perfect. Um, first thing I'm going to do that I would recommend you do if this is your first time playing UO. Close this. This is your, like, your diary, I think? Or is maybe that's your quest journal? Um, is uh, click it'll it'll have a bunch of windows open I'll explain what these are but the first thing you want to do is go to Razor and open the UO positioning system um, and the UO positioning system gives you a better version of this minimap here um, and it's expandable as far as you would like it to go so um, say for example you want it to be all of your empty space. Now, here's us on this. I, I, gotta, I gotta see how well this is coming through, um, which I might do in a second here, but it, this is the city we started, okay, right around here. 
Um, we're under the guards' protection in the green boxes, generally speaking. Um, there's a lot to cover, so you, you just have to... If you haven't played this game before, just bear with me. Uh, trust me in that I'll, I'll get to... Uh, I'll get to talking about it. Um, we're in the town of Britain. Everybody starts uh, outside the inn of Britain, the Sweet Dreams Inn. Um, there's a guy here who'll tell you a little bit about uh, new player relations. Um, a lot of... I think you can double click the... Oh, maybe not. Anyway, a lot of... You can see this guy running around. These are actual people since this is an MMO. Um, it's isometric. Um, and I would say control scheme very much like... Similar to Diablo. Anyway, we start in the town of Britain, which is the capital of Sosaria, the land we're in. Um, a couple of landmarks on the map. I'll talk about those later. Just letting you know, the UO positioning system is really important to have up. I like to keep it like... I often keep it even that open to there uh, when I'm playing. I hope that comes through. I'm going to sound like a real retard if it doesn't. Um, and so a couple of basic things. This is your paper doll. Um, should I start? Yeah. So this is your paper doll. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to check the sound levels, and then I'll come back, and I'll uh, I'll talk for, like, 15 minutes, and then you can pass through all of that being like, I don't want to hear any of this. I just want to see him play the game. All right? We'll be right back in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so everything seems to be working good on that end. Everything looks good. The, I was able to eliminate the mouse lag, which was driving me bananas early. Um, so, I'll cover some basic stuff really, really quick. Here's your stat panel. You can double click to open it. Uh, you can also drag it off of your your person to open it. Double click opens it up. Uh, it'll tell you your strength, your int, your, your dexterity, your int. You can notice that mana and intelligence are linked. Uh, stamina and dexterity is linked, and hit points and strength are linked. One of the now you can see why it's so important to take high high strength is that it it dictates your hit points. Uh, these little buttons here allow you to choose whether or not you want the stat to raise, go down, or be locked, as in never change. Uh, we'll leave them all up for now, but later that'll become relevant. Keep it in the back of your mind. Uh, we have our damage rating, which I believe doesn't work in this version of the game. We have how much our maximum stat. R, which doesn't really matter. This is luck, which doesn't matter. Um, our weight, um, measured in the British stone, because it's a British game. I don't know if they changed that, but we have 81 out of 215 stone. And this is how many followers we have. I, I don't actually know if you, we can have more than five followers or not. Uh, that's something I'll have to look at and figure out later. And these are your resistances. The only one that matters is physical resistance. The rest of these, I believe, are, are non-functional. You can minimize it, drag it around. Uh, that, that, that system of, like, dragging works for anybody. So that guy's name is the Expo Militia. This guy's name is Samson. Um, and you can actually target by clicking and by double-clicking there. I'll clear that up when we get into combat. Um, so we have our backpack here, which is, like, highly disorganized. That's our spell book. We have some spells in there, uh, which is nice. Uh, I can't believe you start off with spells, but, well... It helps you out. We have mortar and pestle for making potions. Um, a candle and some other things. And one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to clear out our bank. So we start off with some scrolls. We start with a scroll of bless and a scroll of clumsy. If you drag and drop those, they'll actually go into your spell book and permanently be written in there. So now you can see we have uh, clumsy in there and bless in there. Uh, we start off with 167 gold, and these are our reagents. Nightshade, spider silk, mandrake root, garlic. There's our book. Uh, no, that's ginseng. There's garlic. These are your... Re reagents are your... Um, they're, they're the thing... The thing you need to cast spells. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to run to the bank because we have some things we don't need uh, on ourselves. The basic controls of the game are right and left clicks. There's very few keyboard uh, macros in terms or keyboard shortcuts in terms of movement. Um, so you aim the mouse where you want to go and hold right click and it'll take you there. Um, the bank is to the south of us, the big bank. Um, I'll see. I'll see about covering, like, ba basic geography, maybe 
later you'll notice that there's a lot of like names and stuff popping up. Um, these, this is a setting I have turned on. It just tells me, it, it pops these up, names. Um, the reason that that happens is because it tells you who's incoming. Uh, Ultima Online is a very dangerous world. Um, it's, it's, if you're not, if you're not careful, you'll get killed by other players and stolen from. Um, you won't get raped, luckily. There's no sexual violation, but, um, pretty much everything else is allowed as soon as you leave the guard's protection. So, it's a good idea to keep things safely locked away in your bank vault. Strictly speaking, nobody can steal out of your bank vault. One of the ways in which you interact with things in UO is you just type things to vendors. So by typing the word bank at the bank, this is the Brit Britain bank right here. You can see it a little bit better, lots of people hanging out outside it. Um, the, the banker will actually allow us to open, so I'm actually going to put one of our robes uh, in the bank. Um, I'm gonna put the four potions because we'll we might find a use for those later, and our mortar and pestle into the bank there. And yeah, um, hmm. you know what? No, I'm gonna keep the dagger for now. Okay, and now we're gonna go visit the garbage can, if there is one. Um, if any of you guys are experienced, um. Let's Play viewers, this Erst McHatchet, I'm almost 100% sure, is Plump Helmet Punk's alt, and he opens up gates to uh, different places. Double click the door to open it. I don't remember why I came in here. I was looking for the garbage can, but I guess there isn't one in Britain. Um, we'll just use the barrel over here. Oh, no, I know where there's a garbage can. Okay, ooh, hey. Unidentified bone leggings. Fancy shirts, skirts, pouch. Oh, I bet you these are trapped. Oh, they're not. That's handy. I'm gonna take one of those. That's just like somebody random threw items on the ground. This is right here. This is somebody's corpse. <laughs> that's been skinned. You can skin players in this game. Uh, that's a boat. Player boat. There's player housing. These are slimes that have been tamed. A bunch of panthers down there that have been tamed as well. Um, you can tame animals, uh, pretty much at will. So, um, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked a bit. We're gonna go, I'm gonna visit the garbage. Um, it's not important you know where everything is, but it is important that you mind, uh, where I'm going on the... I really gotta turn that off. It's double spamming, it's pretty bad. Options. Show names incoming. And where is UOPS? There it is. Alright. That'll spam us a bit less. I'm gonna actually throw this away. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because, like, the less objects there are on the server, the better the server performs. It, it's a personal preference. So, this is a guy, he's blacksmithing. There are trade skills. And this is a game that, um, believe it or not, you can play UO 100% non-combat. It's absolutely possible. Um, you, you do not have to engage in combat unless you absolutely want to. So I'm going to talk to the blacksmith. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to left click. It's going to open up a context menu. Um, there's a bunch of things I can train from her, but I'm not going to do that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy. She's going to have a bunch of different things for me in her shop inventory. And we're looking for a quarter staff. Um, it's just a better fighting implement than our garbage ass mace that they gave us. We got a bird ash, a two headed axe, heavy expo, dagger, hammer pick, katana, Chris broadsword, viking sword, cleaver axe, pitchfork. Yeah, you can wield a pitchfork. Do I want to use a black staff just because it looks cool? I think a quarter staff is a much better weapon. No, I'll just take a black staff because it looks cool. Right, you double click the item, click the check mark, 
It'll go through. She'll tell you how much gold. Thank you for your patronage. And all of that jazz. Now we got ourselves a nice, awesome stave to beat stuff with. Um, staves. Staves are governed by the Mesa skill. So, um, and generally speaking, staves tend to be the highest damage per... One of the highest damage per second weapons in Ultima Online. This won't sell because it's a newbie item, so we'll put it in the garbage. Alright, so now we have um, done a couple of really quick things. Does the magic head do anything? I can't remember. I think it does. Anyway, I'll just leave it on you though I look like a doer. Um, so, we have thrown away some items out of our inventory, which actually is relevant because they do actually take up weight. Um, this gold cannot leave our inventory, so even though I would like to put that gold in the bank, and even though you should always have all your gold in the bank, um, it, it's not going to let me. So we'll go through some, some basic stuff right now um, that'll help us, that'll help me explain uh, the game overall. So there's a bunch of different skills here, you can see um, thieving, uh, detect hidden hiding, lock picking, poisoning, removing traps, snooping, stealing, those are like all stuff if you wanna get your ass killed. Some enemy stuff, including tr animal stuff, enemy, <laughs> including fishing, herding, animal taming. Uh, fishing is a pretty lucrative skill on this server, I think, if you know how to macro it and you know the spots. Um, it's one of the few collection skills you're allowed to macro without getting banned. Uh, we got our magic, evaluating intelligence, imbuing, which I'm almost 100% sure work. There's our majory. Uh, meditation, which governs mana generation. You can hit it and it'll be like, you are at peace. Um, spell weaving, which doesn't work. Spirit speak, which allows you to talk to ghosts. When you die in this game, you actually turn into a ghost. Um, and people can't speak your language. Resisting spells, which is one of our important skills. Um, and then... Uh, I'll go through all of this stuff when it becomes important. There's little arrows like we saw on our stats in the class. Um, there's a total amount of skill set, skill points you're allowed to have, and uh, this sort of governs which skills you want to be raising and which skills you don't. Some skills will be going up via the nature of your stats, so if we show real here, it'll eliminate some of the other bonuses. Um, that you see, those are from our statistics, so if you have like, you know, if you if you manage to get up to 100 intelligence, which is the max, your major will have gone up by a specific amount. There's a bunch of important skills in here um, that I'll be covering, so who, um, and we'll go through it all. There's a bunch, so here are the trade skills. Inscription allows you to make scrolls off of the master scrolls, um, which is a little bit different than you used to. Cooking, you make cooked food. Carpentry, you make wooden goods. Bow craft and fletchery, you make bows. Blacksmithy allows you to make weapons and armor, and alchemy allows you to make potions. Tinkering, I think, allows you to build house additions, but I'm not 100% sure if tinkering is in the game. Tailoring allows you to make clothes. Uh, mining and lumberjacking are collection skills. And, and like I said, um, this is a game, if you're the type of person where you want to play a non-combat character, it works. Here we have some of the... Um, the fighting statistics, you'll notice anatomy is in there. Believe it or not, the anatomy skill, the better you are at anatomy, the more damage you do because the more effective uh, you are at hitting things. And this is a uh, general anatomy. It doesn't necessarily mean anatomy against humanoids because like when you fight a slime, it helps. And, uh, it's, it sounds kind of weird, but you know, it, it is what it is. And then there's a bunch of other stuff, arms lore, begging, camping, cartography. Yeah, you could be a beggar. You really want, you can design maps. Forensic evaluation allows you to do things like figure out who killed who, and, and there's a kind of a neat little uh, in-game system built around that. Item identification allows you to identify magic items, and taste identification allows you to tell if something is poison. There's barding skills, which I'll probably end up covering uh, much later on. For now, it's just a good idea to keep in mind that the whole game revolves around our skill sets. Once we sort of get into the, uh, s the situation and what we're doing, I'll be covering more about what skills do. Just a good idea to keep them in your in your mind. Um, I know it seems like a lot of information, but you'll 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 figure it out as you as you watch the playthrough. So I'm actually gonna go in the Mages Guild, and we're gonna take a look. We need garlic ginseng spider silk, right? And what do we need for greater garlic ginseng spider silk mandrake? Okay, I'm I'm gonna try and see. I don't know how much uh, heal, regular heal. You can drag these out. Um, it's in your best interest to make hotkeys for these. Um, 
So options, little arrow swoosh, we go add, um, we're going to try F1, we're going to go to down here, there's a bunch of different things you can do, uh, last skill, use skill, cast spell, and we're going to cast heal, hit apply, that way when we go to here you hit F1, I'll show you later, there's a hotkey that can arm us and unarm us, you hit A, and it'll do that for you. So, there you go. In Manny, he says it, comes up. But I'm not... And it doesn't cost very much mana, so I think I'm just going to use that heal for now. Uh, since it's fairly cheap on regs. And what did I say I needed? I needed... Garlic Ginseng Spider Silk. So, Garlic Ginseng Spider Silk. Just buy some reagents. Spe Spellcasting is expensive. You can see our meditation skill going up. That's because whenever you're out of mana, it there's passive meditation. How much? We have 53. And no more. So there's a bunch of other stuff you can take a look at here. There's some potions. Hair dye if you want to dye your hair. Wow, that's expensive. Holy cromoles. These guys will train you if you have the money. Uh, in a bunch of different things. They also have uh, scrolls and uh, magical wizard's hat, recall runes. I'll cover all that shit uh, later on. You know what? That's good enough. We have a bunch. Um, we have a reagent tracker up here. If you guys can see that, I'm pretty sure you can. And it tracks which reagents we have and how many of each we have. I'm going to go to Razor, and I'm going to ask it to show me... Uh, no, it's going to have to be added later. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so the other way you can cast, hitting, hitting, I have control A, bound to arm, disarm. I don't know if that's by default. Uh, it might be... Yes, it is by default. Okay. There's a bunch of different hockeys that you can uh, that you can bind straight through here, right? So mini heal cure self, not assigned, heal cure self, all of that, all that good stuff, right? Keep your positioning system open because it's the boss. Um, and so um, this game, unlike. Any MMO you've probably ever played, um, the world is your oyster, in that this game... I'm going to run back to the starting area so you can see where I am. Some, some people don't have internal mapping skills, so I will... Uh, um, I'll, I'll respect that. So here's the Sleepy Time Inn, is that what it's called? Sweet Dreams Inn. And the new player guy spamming us about newbie enhancement program. I haven't done this because I don't really consider myself an, a newbie, quote unquote. Um, I've been playing UO forever. Um, so uh, the world is our oyster. We can do with it what we wish, and uh, some players, myself included, when we play sandbox games tend to be slightly paralyzed by that. Oh god, come on, you don't crash. There we go, good. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to cover um, how to get a basic start in the game. And there's two places that you should know about in Britain, which are relatively safe places to go and be a noob. Um, the first one is very, very safe. I think. Uh, if you get killed down here, you can tell me it's not safe. In the comments, and, and I'll totally respect you for it. Um, is the This is the sewers. And it's gotten quite dark. I don't know if that's going to be a problem on the recording end, but you can see there's these little rat guys down here. And a giant rat over here. 
the little guys won't can't actually get to us, I don't think, right? Because of where they spawned, yeah. Um, and so there's two modes, there's peace mode and there's war mode in UO. Uh, war mode will allow you to actually swing at things, and so what you do, these things will auto-attack you, the giant rat, so I'm actually just going to double-click him on him, and I'll sit and I'll, I'll swing my mace at him, and you can see my tactics and anatomy are going up because I'm actually using uh, my mace to smack him. And you can see I'm attacking really slowly because we have like no dexterity whatsoever. And uh, one of the downsides of being a newbie in UO is it's very hard to make money. Um, these rats in the sewers don't actually drop anything. And I'll show you uh, what you can do. I don't know whether or not it'll work very well, particularly well. Um, like I don't know if the vendors will buy the the rat meter or what, but um, I'll show you what you can do to start. This there's, there's another option. This is sort of the more the safer route um, for for players to do. Is you can come down here, and this place is always empty. There's never anybody in here. You maybe one in you know a hundred times a thief might come down here and try to steal from you, but I'm pretty pretty sure you're pretty safe down here. So, um, normally in UO, monsters will run away, like, immediately as soon as, um, they're low on life. And I'll, I'll show you that on this guy. The first rat couldn't run away because we had him trapped. So you can, um, double click on his corpse on the ground, and it'll, you'll see, see this is his corpse. What would be on there is normally there would be gold and other stuff. But if you double click a sharp weapon, and you click that corpse, it'll be like, uh, you skin it and the hides are now on the corpse. You can double click and open, and it'll actually have, here, a pile of hides, which are really heavy, and then it'll have cut of uh, raw ribs. Um, and I don't know if you can sell both of these. I can't remember how much the hides weigh. Oh, not that much. Um, but you can eventually, those hides can eventually be worked on and turned into leather armor, I believe. Uh, I think, anyway. So, we killed two. Two rats, haha, -ha, we've gained, oh, a bunch of skill points. Oh, we got another rat here that I'll beat on while I talk to you. Um, and we haven't gotten any gold, which I'm sure to some players who are not used to Ultima Online will come as kind of a surprise. Uh, but what we did get is we did get a skill scroll. Um, you can stack items in your inventory by dragging them on top of each other. We gained a point of strength, which is good. Um, and I'll explain skill scrolls once I've beat this rat to death with my awesome-ass black staff. Whack! Whack. You can trap things in the corners there uh, if you like as well. Monsters will always move up directly away from you. Um, with that knowledge, you can manipulate the directionality that things run away from you, which is important when we get into uh, dungeon settings. Because, uh... So that actually does a really good job of healing us up. Eight, eight hit points? For... For what? No. 26 and 10... So yeah, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that. I, I think that'll be functional for now, since I plan on doing a lot of um, summoning magic and other stuff with that. So this is the um, the early pace of the game. You can see we're, we're getting a whole bunch of skill points. Um, pardon me, holy cow. Which is sort of the... Um, the... The way the start of the game works. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm take this miscellaneous category, and I'm going to rename this to Mayor Sim. And I'll show you. We can remove all of these skills here into any category we want. And so this is going to give us an easy way to track which skills we want. So we're going to take a look at anatomy, as we're a fighter. We're going to take a look at mace fighting. We're going to take a look at throwing. Oh, that's got to be not in this game. And then that's the only combat skill we're going to use. Show real, make sure those are all zero. Perfect. 
And then by locking these down, we're going to ensure that no skill gain that we don't want happens. Right, right. Oh my god, we're so good at everything. <laughs> um, not funny. Uh, this character probably isn't going to have any trade skills, right? No. Uh, in terms of magic, we are going to have m meditation and...